Uh, guys, I can't even begin to tell you how much this interview means to me. Like I was, I was raised like everybody. I was raised on your movies, and the fact that I get to talk to you for a truly amazing sequel, uh, it, it means this. So seriously, thank you for all of this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna jump into this. Um, thinking back over the last 25 years, you guys have had such a great collection of actors who play the killers. You look at Skeet Ulrich and Matthew Lillard and Timothy Oliphant and Laurie Metcalf, uh, just to name a few. Yeah. I was wondering what it's like to work with an actor knowing that they're the killer. How is your relationship on set with an actor who plays the killer any different than your relationship with everyone else on a Scream set? I just don't talk to them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think it's any different, to be honest. We're all we're all here to make a great film, and it's like a playground that we're in, and and we all have our, our we're all we all have our characters and our parts to play, and yeah, no, it, it doesn't make I don't treat them differently because in, inevitably your character doesn't know until the very end. So mm -hmm. you wouldn't mm -hmm. be treating them differently anyway. Do you guys have, of all of the great killers over the last four films, do you have a single favorite killer? Ghostface. <laughs> there you go, Ghostface. Well done, well done. <laughs> you know, going into a screen film though, obviously the big question is always who's the killer. And I know every, every film really outside of all of these films, it undergoes rewrites and reshoots and sometimes has fake endings to keep spoilers away. Was there ever a version of Scream 1 through 4, where Sydney or Dewey were either killed or were actually the killer? Scream 3 had a bunch of different uh, script changes. It was changing as we went. But I don't think Sydney or Dewey were no. ever, no, the killers. What, was I there imagine those conversations were had, but they never ended up on the page. Oh, and they never came to you guys about that? Yeah. Would, no? Okay, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> you know, obviously one of the greatest aspects of, of any Scream movie is, of course, the great Roger L. Jackson, um, who I just absolutely adore. I'm sort of curious, from the set of the first Scream to today, like, what is your relationship with him, your interaction on set been like, and, and really how has it changed over the last 25 years? You know, um, Wes was actually really diligent about keeping us apart from, from Roger. He didn't want us to meet him because he didn't want us to sort of have a face to the voice. Um, and that was really helpful when it came to the performances and the phone calls. And um, But I love Roger. I mean, I know Roger now. I, I sometimes do these autograph conventions, and he's really popular oh, with those cool, things. Cool. And, and oh, so I, I see Roger. I saw Roger this year, and he's just such, he's such a gem. And he loves the voice, and he loves you know being a part of these movies, which is really sweet. He, no, I've never, I don't think I've ever met him. He's so really? You've never met him? <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe at a convention or something, but know. never on the sets. <laughs> no, no. Oh, my God. As we wrap up, uh, like many Scream fans, I always loved and appreciated the character of Randy because I feel like he represented a lot oh, of yeah. us who, who grew up as those characters. And I always loved his thoughts on sort of the movies themselves. We even got to see him um, in part three. What do you think Randy would say about what's going on in, in the fifth film. Do you think at this point he would just be like, I, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'd be well pleased that his legacy of like his niece and nephew are, in, are now characters in the film. So we, Randy gets carried on. I think we just can't let him go. Uh, I think, and I think he'd be happy about that. I, I can't even begin to tell you, they're giving me the wrap. I just wanna say thank you so much for being such a big part of my life and continuing to make these movies that mean so much to all of us. And, and seriously, it's it's truly an absolute honor. It feels weird now saying that because of the movie, but it's truly an honor <laughs> to, to be able to talk to you guys. And seriously, thank you so, so much. Thank, thank you. you, nice to meet you. All right, nice to meet you guys. Take care. Take care. We're going, we don't need roads.